It's time to look at how we can direct object and character properties. I've classed this uh, video tutorial as being tricky. If there was a category in between easy and tricky, I think this would probably be it. It's not that difficult, but uh, anyway, let's go over to Movie Zoo and see what we've got going on here. So you see that I've already created a set, and in this set we've got three things um, that we're going to direct the properties of. Pool table, um, Roman candle, and a little blob character. I've also got a camera in the scene, which is showing us this view of the world. Now, I don't really need to see that camera, and I also don't need to see that window for this lesson. So what does it mean when we, see, when we say directing characters' properties, or directing properties of an object? Well, the properties of an object typically are its colours. And in this example, I'm going to show you how you can animate the colour of the top of this pool table. But a property may also be the intensity of, say, the effects. So I'm going to show you how we can animate uh, that particular property, and also some of the things that you've got attached uh, to the characters. And we'll attempt all three of these things in this one tutorial. Now, directing properties um, on objects, effects, or characters is, like everything else, a two-step process. First of all, we have to prepare. Um, we've got either character properties or object properties. And then, once everything is prepared, we're then going to direct either character properties or object properties. We are going to start with object properties. So this pool table. So let's see what it means to go and prepare things. So let's go to prepare object properties. We get this little box comes up. It's asking us for the object, the track, and the animation. So pool table is correct. The track, well, what you can see here are the three color slots that this object has. If you went into this object's properties like this, you can see these three color slots. Um, are what we can animate. And in this case we want to animate the felt. So let's go back to prepare um, object properties. So object pool table track felt animation. You have to switch this on. You have to switch it to animate. And it's detected the original color and it's also given us a palette of colors that we can that we can change between. So this is the way MovieZoo uh, animates properties on an object. You assemble a palette just like this one and then as time is recording you just click on the thumbnail click on the palette color and you'll see that that color changes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in I don't want black, I'm going to load in um, a brighter green into there I'm going to load in um, say a pink into there and into this last one I think we'll go for mid grey and I'm going to show you this pool table animating the color of its felt across this top row of the grid so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go over to direct mode. We'll hit record. And then we'll just go through this top row. Starts off at its initial colour, then we go bright green, pink, grey. Stop, rewind. Let's play that back to verify that it's happened. Starts off as green, goes bright green, pink, and grey. Cool. Let's look at the effects right now. Let's close that down. Let's go to the effect. Let's go to prepare object properties. Now we've got Roman candle, good track intensity. Ah, see now we've got a whole bunch of new stuff in here. Because the Roman candle has a whole bunch of properties in it to do with the texture um, of the little sparks that are coming off and the colour of them. We can see that it's right now it's emitting orange, blue, and green sparks. So it stands to reason that when we go to prepare object properties, we got all those types of um, labels in there. But for now we're just going to work on the intensity. I'm going to go to animate. Again, the animation asks for its initial state and the initial state for this is I want it to be off all the way down. Let's hit direct. Let's hit record. Keep your eye on this Roman candle. As time ticks by and as we hit record I'm going to ramp up this intensity and then right up to the top and right down again. And that's that recorded. Let's rewind, press play, watch the Roman candle, switches on and switches off again. Let's close that down and turn our attention to the character. How would you direct the character's properties? Well, pretty much the same way that you do with the objects. The animating of a character's properties is only the things that are attached to it. 
right now. So in order to make this interesting, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a hat on this guy. Where's the American football helmet? Let's go with that one. So again, I'm going to go up to prepare, character properties. We've got character, gym, attachment. Well, right now it's saying no lids. That That's the eyes. Instead, I want the football helmet. And again, I've got all the color channels right here. Let's go for the helmet, which is, I presume, the blue outer. Let's go to animate. And again, it asks you for the initial color. And this time, we won't bother preloading our own colors, and we'll just simply go between these three. Again, it's as easy as going to direct, rewind, record. And just make this go from red to green to blue. Stop. Finally, let's take a look at the timeline. Let's see how all that stuff has appeared. Let's go to the uh, pool table first of all. Tools, timeline, pool table. So you can see in here, and we'll probably have to zoom in quite tight to see this. These are the little events where things have changed and the pool tables felt. So you can you can see right in here, and we can we can change this and bring the, th the three things to happen quite close together, so that when we zoom out and press play, you can see that the felt changes a lot more rapidly now. And off. And we can do that with any one of these, Roman candles or with the character. You can move these little property change events around. And in that way, you can tweak things to get the effect that you're after.